Lise, which is more oh, Zoe Lise, right? But Zoe Lise. Okay, okay, okay. Anyway, Bard was locked. Bard was locked. Which... I, I did think about the Bard, but I wasn't sure how high priority teams actually put Bard on the current no, patch. On a ward, but Larson's very up in the lane. Larson has a lot of time to get away from here. You can see those bushes now further so away good. from the middle of the lane, so Hang you can bit, just walk Larson. away. He walks back in. Niski shuffles forward. Niski low on mana, but Isma's able to get in. Larson has to flash. Dos. Trying to they get in from the side as well. Flash forward from Isma and Larson walked back into the gank. Gets the speed up, but will fall for first blood. I have questions. That was... Why did Larson... Ready? Looking for roams. It seems that SK's game plan right now is to just keep the pressure on Larson. Doing it well. Niski gets the pull back. Larson locked up and Niski will take the kill. SK 2 and 0 oh to the good. SK saying, you know what, we can actually get this. Maybe we can... Maybe we can even threaten to dive on top of Zuvis. So we can quickly look at that top wave. I'd love to see how it's stacking up. You know, recent addition to SK. Already we're seeing this play style, right? Play through mid, give him those leads, and see if he can use it on the map. But it's Rogue's turn to answer. They're moving through the river. But irrelevant. He tries to make a plantage again. They're not going to find much. Boss shows up. The Void Gubs have spawned, which is why I think Larson and Zoelise were here helping out Marcoon. That's their third. It will be a fourth and a fifth if they manage to take both of these. And it looks like they should be able to get them. Doss going in with a magical journey. Ignite already down on Shigende. He tries to flash away. Isma on the chase, though. Will follow him up. And Irrelevant gets his first kill of 2024. To come through. He felt safe because he has three members in the river. If this gank happens uh, traditionally, SK have to go through the tribush, round the river, and then actually come to collapse, which gives them a window to collapse themselves. But uh, the Bard catching him off guard. Now Niski in a lot no of danger. Flash. Comp has Chain of Corruption. Zoelise is here as well with the quickness. There's the charm, there's the follow-up. And Rogue, after 11 minutes, are finally on the board. I might not have time for it because the dragon has spawned. Save that one for later. And here we go. And Rogue wanna Doss. try and contest this. They don't know Doss is there. There's the Tempo oh, Fate. He's two. Zoelise has the quickness. Oh, he's two. And he comes out. Bad timing on the knock of Exekick flashes and cleanses away. The curtains open. And perhaps it's gonna be a rainy day for Rogue as SK start to dive in. Irrelevant. Unable to get much out of his TP. Shigenda has one of his own, so at least able to dash away. And in the end, all of Rogue survive. Shigenda will have some time with that top lane tower. Markoon, call of the Q, not quite loud enough in his head. The voice is silenced by the fact that three members of SK were gathered there. So, now looking for the dragon. It's going to be a rift held for dragon trade, as Rogue will get the objective that sticks around as a permanent buff, and SK will get the game for Rogue, as you say, held. Will. Who's gonna ride it? It's Isma. He's going in. Charges forward. The Tempered Fate hitting onto Larson. He still has the flash, and Shigenda has a flank position here. Remember, Exekick has no flash from the Dragon play, and Zoalise will lock him down and say good day. Rogue get their second kill on the board. Very well played that from Rogue. Once again, a good. Uh, they have a decent amount of control over the map. The towers are pretty even. They would love to unlock this mid tower. Is it Shigenda now in a lot of danger? Isma has found his way to top lane. Shigenda tries to flash away. World End up hopped as Doss joins the face. Shigenda with a magic damage shield, but it's not going to be enough. The Ignite ticking and Isma securing the kill for SK in the top lane. They're going to push forward. This will be a tier one falling, their second tower of this game. Really good punish from SK. They catch Shigenda. Over it. Makes you very tanky in terms of support. Really good vision control here from Rogue, forcing SK to face check. They don't really have the best face checking champions. They're trying to use the range from Niski. Oh, good to fate. Fate. Quickness for Zoelise is up. Flash away from Comp as the curtains open and swiftly close as four shots come out. Shigenda trading with Irrelevant, who's trying to keep him on the sidelines. Zoelise still has the quickness, has the flash, could work his way around here. As you say, not much vision for SK. Zoelise has a lot of nooks and crannies to play with. He tries to hide out of vision. Instead, he's just frontlining. Cosmic coming back oh, up Isma. on him. Isma flashing forward, looking for the damage. But there's the quickness, there's the charm. Niski with a good shuffle back means that Larson's in the middle of the enemy team and here with the first to fall. Alongside him, we've seen Niski go down, but Zoelise and Rogue are on the run. Marcoon sniped by Exekick. The binding coming out as well as Zoelise lands a double knockup before it. He will pay with his life. A clean fight from SK in the end. Ends up being four dead on the side of Rogue, and this will unlock the dragon for SK. Uh, Zonya's effect. Zoelise here now stepping towards the Baron pit. It's territorial. It grabs Isma back and pulls him out. Irrelevant now joining the fray. TP in by Shigenda. Long-range vision yet for Rogue. Marcoon will step in. 
6,000 on the Baron, though at least stepping forward as well. They can't quite find an avenue in here, though, because SK continue to chip away at the Baron. Lower and lower it goes, though Elise rooted up with a captive audience, and Doss takes the kill. Temper that just wide of Larson, but Irrelevance in the midst of four here. Tries to snip his way through, can't quite do it, but the Baron will be forfeit. Rogue got a kill, but SK got one and a Baron to boot. Ends up being for one for one, as you highlighted, Medic, but... And they're able to convert it into a Baron. Now the TP comes through from Irrelevant. The next dragon is likely going to be uncontested, and SK can begin their siege onto Rogue's base. Yeah, not really much you can do here as Rogue. You need another item on Comp, perhaps another item on Larson, who's only sitting on Tated as well for Irrelevant. And here we go. This reeked me out the first time I saw it. I was because it comes all the way from Bot River. So I was running along, there was a Vex in the game, and I saw this big V-shaped monster coming at me. I was like, it is a tight one. That's for sure, and it is a big gamble. They don't have the fastest Baron take themselves, so they're not going to do it. Instead, they're going to use this to really put any down. Wait, uh, vision cleared out. Zoelis going to ward in this bush as well. Irrelevant and Shigenda still down in the bottom lane. Both TPs available for them. And Zoelis find the engage. You have to feel Larson now stepping up. Feels he's strong. Gravadon's complete on him. Three items Oriana. We've seen Shockwaves turn a game like this before. Isma dives in. The TP behind is irrelevant joints. Shigenda going in. Zoe Elise trying to get on towards that front line. Niski there. It's extra kick. Kills off Marcoon. Shigenda on the back line now is irrelevant. Tries to just chip him away. Irrelevant low, but it's SK's day. They start to sweep up the fight. Everyone surviving for them. Shigenda not stunned by that cosmic binding, but SK get two. They get the mid jungle duo. And now they can just back away. Shigenda's going to try and gain some tempo for his team as Doss flashes and misses the Q. Maybe they can keep him around. Maybe they can keep them low enough because Comp's still alive and his ultimate's up in eight. Now five. I don't will think it be, be enough to for them this. to survive? The tower in the mid lane falls. Comp backing away and it will be Baron over to SK. I mean, well played once again from SK. A bit of a messy fight, but they make it work. This guy I thought was dead for sure. Two minutes remain on it, yet to break an inhibitor tower, but with a relevant pushing mid, you have to feel. One will be short to fall. Isma going forward once again Look onto Shikenda, the, the lockdown, but Shikenda just getting clipped away at Marcoon kicks away irrelevant. Well, that's a big, well, two big ultimates used just to disengage. The wave's still going to start crashing in. Unrelenting here from SK, irrelevant chipping away at their mid lane tower. He's doing more than chipping, Betty. He's melting. That's a whole Ooh, chip button for him as Isma goes in. <laughs> the tower falls. They're looking for more as Niski slides forward. Larson already falling. Marcoon short to follow. Zoe Elise now at the edge of the blades of Irrelevance. And he is not long for the rift. Comp will fall. And SK, all it took was a Baron for them to work their way into the base and demolish it. SK with their first win of winter. An impressive performance overall. And overall, a huge team effort as well. Loved what we saw from the mid-jungle support trio in the early game, the way in which they attacked the mid lane. Rogue around the mid game, though, started to come back. They did a good job of finding those windows, but it was SK with the better team fights that closed it out in the end. Your key player of the game votes at LEC on X are irrelevant.